All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, even though both Jiren and Tech Android 18 came out so recently, only on last month's Ultra and Goku and Jiren banner, both of them actually just got Dokkan Awakenings. Now, Jiren, as expected, a behemoth, one of the best units in the game, better than we could have expected. Well, I really do like his 100% chance to crit and stun enemies. Very, very good. But... Surprisingly enough, this Android 18 got a ridiculous awakening. I actually think not only is she better than Tech Android 17 and in Android 17, I think she low-key might be the best Android unit in the game outside of Super 17. And then probably the LR... Ah. Nah, she's better than the LR Android. So I think only Super 17 is a better Android card than her. I mean, unless you want to count Cell. Uh, SDR Cell? SDR Cell? I don't know. Is SDR Cell better than Tech Android 18? This 18 is very, very good. Let's hop into some events and let me show you guys what I'm talking about because she's a fucking beast. All right, guys. So let's hop into an event with Android 18. Let's test her out. Uh, we'll go through the uh, in <clears throat> Spirit Bomb Sword Rage Trunks event. And then I figure we might go through, like, the Jiren or Vegeta Blue event, or maybe, like, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock or something. Maybe it would be a good idea uh, to go through an Int-type event uh, and kind of see how well 18 can hold up uh, under the pressure from an Intelligence-type. Because even though we are hopping into the Rage Trunks event, you know, he is an Int Dokkan Fest unit, uh, there's only one Int stage in the fight, and it's the last stage, the Suicide Phase. This is more so going to be difficult... Uh, I, I say the hardest stage of this fight is actually a physical type unit, which is, it's weird. This is one of those weird type events, uh, kind of just like, ah, damn, we actually got unlucky there. Okay, so, basically, what I'm going to be trying to do is we could utilize Kefla to make Android 18, like, hit insanely hard. Uh, basically, the way their passives will work, right, uh, Kefla changes int key spheres to physical key spheres. So, she'll show up on the field, and all int uh, spheres will change to physical spheres, right? Now, 18 changes physical spheres to tech spheres. So, if I have it to where Kefla shows up on the field first, then 18 shows up, basically the whole field is going to be turned into tech orbs, like, like very easily. And Kefla and 18 together uh, are going to be a very powerful rotation anyway. You know, Kefla can dodge and also get, a, a, you know, extra additionals, and then 18... Uh, she'll be a very defensive unit if she gets a ton of love uh, with orbs. So it's actually going to make it to where I think it's going to be a monster increase for the Peppy Gals category. I'm actually really considering uh, rainbowing that tech Android 18 because, like, she is, like, like I, I don't know why they made her so strong. <laughs> like, I'm just being real. Like, they made her dumb powerful, bro. So here we go. So here's how it's going to work. Uh, all right. So Kefla shows up. Boom. Those change into physical. Now 18 goes. Boom. Now they're tech. See what I'm saying? And so now mm, 18 is going to be able to put the motherfucking hands on him. Now I'm going to have Kefla go first just so that 18 we can show off her defense. Because 18, not only does she increase her attack with every orb, but she also increases her defense so that... She's able to hit very, very hard. Like, I'm usually not a big fan of nuking-type units. But one thing about 18 is she already passively... Okay, so 500,000 attack set. I'll take that. All right, so let's see. How much damage will she do? That's pretty good. 369,000. How much damage will she take? Okay, this is good to see. Uh, only 83. Of course, this is a lower Dokkan event. We'll hop into a higher-tiered, newer uh, category Dokkan boss event as well. But this is good. Like, she gets attack and defense 70% at the start of turn. And then she's going to get another 12% attack and 7% defense for every key sphere she gets. That's why, like, she just gets fucking insane. Like, it's, it's absolutely monstrous how much damage she can start turning up. Uh, and how well she'll be able to defend just once you get her a bunch of orbs. And even if you can't get her a ton of orbs... Like, she's at the very minimum going to have 82% attack and 77% defense. Like, that's her minimum. That's that's very fucking good, man. So, 
the reason I'm thinking of 100%ing her is uh, to make the Peppy Gals uh, category team stronger. Because, of course, uh, she is uh, probably the best. Yeah, she, well, yeah, she's definitely the best Android 18 in the game. Uh, and it'll make that team overall just uh, a lot stronger. Just significantly buff it. And 18 also does raise her defense on supers as well. So the main reason I have Kefla go first is so that uh, all of these orbs like change like this in the proper way. Because if 18 shows up first, the combo won't work. Because 18's passive will apply before Kefla's. We need Kefla's to go first. But in a situation like this, oh look, we're fighting an int unit. Here's what we'll do. We'll just give all the fucking tech orbs to Kefla, who gets, uh, is it 13% per orb? Is that what Kefla is? Let me just confirm. Uh, 12%. Okay. So she's going to get 12% attack and defense per orb that was on the field there. And as you guys see, it was nearly the whole fucking field. So now Kefla's attack set flies to over a million. And she's going to be able to dominate. Like, it's just a very potent and powerful combo. Yeah, there you go. Casual 2 million. Not, you know, nothing crazy right there. Just be gone, Trunks. Under the weight of Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. Uh, all right, guys. So let's go ahead and hop into one more event. Uh, maybe like Super Saiyan 3 Bardock or Angel Golden Frieza. Something like that. All right, guys. So we're going to hop into another event. Real quick, let's do a full breakdown on 18 before we actually hop into another event here. So this is Emotional Struggle Android 18. Her leader skill is Tech Type Key Plus 2 and HP Attack and Defense 70%. So her leader skill is fantastic for uh, Dokkan Battlefield 2.0 which will be here in only a few short days. So she's going to be very, very handy for any free-to-play players. Or like, you know, now that every multi is uh, GSSR, I'm sure a lot of people will end up pulling this Android 18 from their GSSR with the 95% uh, unfeatured rate. So uh, this girl, like, this is one of the better unfeatured SSRs you could pull from that pool as well. Uh, so her super attack is the Accelerator Dance which does supreme damage and raises defense by 30% for six turns. So you're going to be able to stack up her defense on top of her passive, Strong Love for Family, which is attack and defense 70%. She changes physical key spheres to tech key spheres, and then she gets an additional 12% attack and defense 7% for every key sphere obtained. She's so good because she can get any key sphere she wants. It does not need to be a tech key sphere. And obviously, you guys have seen with that little combo I do with Kefla, you know, she is able to rack up a ton of tech key spheres. But, you know, it, it could be any type. Like, she could just take uh, Kefla's physical orbs or a, a big line of blue orbs, any of that. And Android 18 will be able to have a really nice attacking power. Now, the only down downside to her for sure is her links. She has Android Assault, Twin Tears, The Innocence, Battlefield Diva, Infinite Energy, Turn of Power, and Shattering Limit. Her only attack link is the Innocence. So she's like Kale in that aspect, where you're not really going to be able to activate that that easily. Like, I'm just looking through the list of cards that could have that on the Universal Survival Arc team, and I'm not seeing any except for Rip Rian or like Skinny Boo. But you wouldn't want to run Skinny Boo on the team because Skinny Boo doesn't have the Turn of Power link. So he's not going to uh, link up as easily with some of these other Universal Survival Arc units. So unless you're getting her with Physical Rip Rian, she's not going to have any attack links. That's really her only downside. This is the type of unit. If this bitch had Fierce Battle, bro, <laughs> would 18 be a fucking demon out here? Now, her 12 key multiplier is 140%, which I guess is fine. But considering she has no attack links, I guess I, I, you know, I would like it to be maybe 145%. And she has two uh, categories. She has the Peppy Gal or Peachy Peachy Gal category where she's, like, probably the... Oh, man. She might be the second best uh, unit on that category. I think Kefla is the best. And this 18 might be better than Khalifa. I, I'd have to think about it, but this 18 is really good. And then, of course, she has the Universal Survival Arc category as well. Overall, I I'm, I'm just continue to be very uh, impressed by a lot of these cards that they're releasing. Like, they're all useful. I decided we'd hop into the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta event, by the way. But, like, they're all so useful, right? Like, Tech Android 17, I, I would say, of all the new cards, uh, well, <laughs> he's better than Ribrian. <laughs> Ribrian is probably the most underwhelming of all the new cards. But, like, God of Destruction Topo is awesome. Dispo is amazing. Jiren is amazing. 
Whoa, whoa, oh shit. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta is incredible. Like, they're making all these cards good, and there's also a ton of free-to-play options as well. Like, uh, JP Dokkan just continues to do things right. Uh, I'm, you know, I've been very impressed, basically, with this calendar year. I feel bad for some of you guys on Global, because I know Global's having a lot of issues, uh, you know, not having the GSSR multis and a lot of things like that, but it will get better, like, once the three-year anniversary happens, for sure. Uh, okay, so we want to get Kefla in line with, uh, our girl Andrew at 18, so let's go ahead and do that. So because Vegeta's stunned, by the way, we're gonna get this 100% chance to crit, so I definitely want to take advantage of that. Anytime we get a 100% crit chance, gonna need to go ahead and take advantage of that, so <laughs> let's go ahead and do it. Uh, Vegeta, my boy, goodbye. <laughs> Have fun, Vegeta. <laughs> Adios, amigo. <laughs> Alright, so now he goes ahead and uh, transforms into uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta. So, I, that we'll definitely keep... Ooh, we actually got a ton of orbs right off the bat. Not bad. So, we'll keep uh, Android 18 right here, and we'll wait for uh, Kefla to come back on rotation with her. So, what is 18? Okay, 500,000 attack set. Yeah. See, this is the thing. Once I get her rainbowed, like, her attack set is going to be easily over a million. Like, she's going to be hitting so hard, defending so hard... Like, yeah, I, I'm, I've decided. Like, just seeing what she's doing at 1% in the dude system is enough for me. Uh, that girl needs to be rainbowed and then Jiren bodies as well. Universal Survival Art Team, definitely going to be one of the most fun teams. Also, that art right there. Did you guys see that art for Vegeta? They still haven't put this in the game. They really should make that a Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta art uh, here, uh, like, in the game. That, that should be a Super Saiyan 2 GT Vegeta because there still is not one of those. They have... A Super Saiyan 3 GT Vegeta, even though that doesn't exist. Uh, they have, well, you know, well, at least not in GT, right? He doesn't show up like that. Uh, they got Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 1 Vegeta, but not a Super Saiyan 2 GT Vegeta. They actually, uh, I think they need to buff. Like, they got to get a lot of new GT cards in here because it's been a long time since they've given any love to GT at all, right? Like, what was the last GT card? I guess Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega? But it was just the two of them. Well, there was also the AGL Shenron and then the physical uh, Super Saiyan 3 Kid Goku. Those two support units were okay. And obviously Omega and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta are incredible. But what I'm really looking for is, like, getting buffs for the Shadow Dragon category. Like, you know, a Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta who's an absolute beast would be really cool for that. Uh, but, you know, I don't... <laughs> I, honestly, like... You know, or here, here's the novel idea, right? I, I don't know if y'all are ready for this. Put fucking Super Saiyan 4 Goku on the fucking Shadow Dragon Arc category, Akatsuki. How about that? Is that okay? Can we do that? Can we give Super Saiyan 4 Goku a little bit of love? I'm pretty sure the category would not break if he's on. Alright, so only 300,000. Uh, that's okay, because Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta does have a... Uh, monster defensive barrier. Uh, he really lowers uh, the amount of damage uh, that, you know, units are able to do. Like, see, even Kefla only did 466,000 there. Uh, overall, just very pumped, man. This Universal Survival Arc team, very, very fun. And then Jiren, uh, you know what it is. You know what our boy Jiren likes to do. He says, Oh, the additional crit! Oh, but Vegeta's able to survive. Yeah, go ahead and super ha, <laughs> The final shine would not be able to hurt Jiren in any way. Oh, and we're going to end it like this. <laughs> yes. I love the transformation characters. That's so hype. Just like, I'm not even thinking of it, not even expecting it. And then just boom. This man just explodes on screen. And that is how we're going to end it with our boy, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. He's going to give a little final flash. You know, oh, yeah, right here. Uh, goodbye, my boy. <laughs> goodbye, my weaker version of myself. Later. <laughs> Bye, Vegeta. <laughs> and seven medals. I'll take that. <laughs> All right, guys. So, I'm... Yo, okay. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and rainbow this Android 18 now. Like, I, I just... I'm not... <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> Y'all kids, stop me. This... This is what you, you got a rainbow fun units like this. 18, not a Dokkan Fest. Not, you know, the best unit in the game. Not, you know, Jiren, the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. But just an unexpected gem of a unit. 
That is something that's really fun. Probably one of the more fun units to come out of this batch of cards, her and the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Uh, so let me go ahead and get to Rainbow and her. Thanks, guys, for stopping by, and I'll catch y'all later.